they say university makes students here students make university so with the slogan of think big i himanshu kaushik your host of the day would like to welcome you all in today's session and before uh, i know i mean i let you know that what the session is i hope that you all are doing good safe sound and happy so today basically we have joined here to know what are the sustainable options that are available in construction practices for civil engineers and i know that you are as excited as i am to know more about this and for the same we have our expert here who have joined us please welcome mr vidya sagar samuri uh, he is an assistant professor of from school of civil engineering and he has done his mtech from nit kurukshetra and he is a master in soil mechanics with more than 7 years of a blended experience from site and teaching he is pursuing a phd and a teaching in civil engineering subjects with all the effective way and measures and helping students with their growth in the uh, field uh, so sir i welcome you in the session and i request you now please uh, take over the screen and looking forward for an amazing thank you so much himanshu ji good morning all of all all of you that uh, today we are gathering here for uh, uh, topic in which we will discuss here that what are the uh, emerging trends in the sustainable construction practices for the civil engineering basically when when we talk about the civil engineering practices mostly we know that the what are the conventional practices like uh, making a houses making roads bridges but as the time is going on then our practices also changed so i am vidya sagar khanduri from uh, school of civil engineering so here few contents are there which about we'll discuss like what is the sustainable construction first of all then what are the different fields are there like what are the construction practices sustainable construction practices sustainable materials and resources different materials and resources are there which we say that the sustainable energy efficiency in buildings water management when we talk about the sustainable then water management is also comes there green building certifications now if we are constructing a building we are designing a building so we require some certification from the environmental point of view also which comes with a green building the waste management and recycling is there lca life cycle assessment earlier this assessment is done for the some products life cycle assessment how the products is starting and when it is ending so this this whole age is called as a life cycle so in construction practices also we have a life cycle assessment then green roof and vertical gardens are there like you can see you can see there are number of urbanization is going on so spaces are less buildings are more so we required the green roofs vertical gardens are there so that is also comes under the sustainable construction sustainable site development and some conclusion after that we will discuss so first of all introduction about the sustainable construction it is also known as the green or eco friendly construction it refers to the designing constructing operating and maintaining building and infrastructure to minimize their negative impact on environment and promote social and economic well being first of all we should know that that why we talking about this is sustainable what do you mean by sustainable sustainable means sustain or endure or maintain to endure or to maintain it for the future beings means whatever we are using right now whatever material whatever things we are using right now it should be better well for the future generation not for our, ourselves only means we are moving from non renewable energy to the renewable energy why because renewable energy is long lasting non renewable energy will be and there will be the some uh, the time period is there when it will be the totally finished but renewable energy we can go further so here we have some sustainable development sir ek minute so in in this meeting the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their needs 
so this report it burnt land gives this report that whatever future generations are there keeping in the mind this thing we have to generate right now either in the any field not in the only this construction but we are discussing about the construction so we will focus on the sustainable construction only but sustainability is combined of the three most factors these factors are one is society environment society environment and third economy so when these all will be combined together then sustainable development is come there another way we can say that moving ahead while making sure that we can maintain the manage and do justice to change we seek and intend to bring about means every time we can see last generation our behind generation and our generation there is a major gap for the technology or everything but in new generation next generation will also increase this gap but again if we we'll use these type of constructions which are not renewable or which are not good for the future so that will again uh, not a sustainable so here in sustainable part it involves using resources efficiently reducing waste and pollutions and considering the long term impact of construction activity when we know that how to use the resources efficiently you can plan for that you can plan for the risk management you can reduce the waste or you can reduce you can reduce the pollutions also and considering the long term impact of the construction activity when you will go for the higher education like uh, uh, mtech or phd then you will see the researchers are using the waste as the that building material like they are using the construction waste one building is demolished and then that waste can be used for the reconstruction so that is also called the sustainable construction now what is the importance of the sustainable construction practices why it is important so major importance is environment environment can be protected by that because if we are continuously using new and new material new product every time so old material will go into waste and that will be only just uh, kept in the earth so we can reuse that we can reduce the using things we can go as a sustainable construction sustainable materials energy efficiency and cost saving so nowadays you can see green buildings where you require less that electrical lights because in daylights easily you can get the circulation of air is there you can say good ventilation is there good electricity comes from how the how what should be the that front way what should be the side way where should be the windows are there right so that all things energy efficiency also you can provide like improved indoor air quality and health that also comes under the that is the importance long term cost saving long term cost saving means if you are using the this different type of bricks are coming right now low light or we can say uh, less density of uh, concrete is there which is increasing the time period of the building and reducing the self weight of the building enhance enhance building resilience social benefits are there regulatory compliance and market demand so these all are the importance of the construction sustainable construction and best practices right now, right now also now one thing is there american society of civil engineers which are very popular in civil engineering they defines the sustainability as a set of economic environmental and social conditions in which all the society has the capacity and opportunity to maintain and improve its quality of life indefinitely without degrading of the quality quantity quality or availability of nature economic and social resources what it means these three terms you can see here economic environment and social so when these three factors comes together that comes as the sustainable sustainability so these three things wherever you can see nowadays research is not only about the social condition not only about the economic condition it is the environment also there you should have to uh, refer something which is going to the environment point of view means whatever you are doing that should be impact on environment otherwise your that research is not fruitful for the future generation it is not a sustainable 
so sustainable development is the application of these resources to enhance the safety welfare and quality of life for all of the societies now here you can see uh, sustainable goals are given by the un these are sustainable development goals so majorly 17 goals are there so from starting to ending you can see no poverty first one then zero hunger good health quality education gender equality clean water and sanitation affordable and clean energy now you can see where our construction is falling you are studying the when you will go for the study for the degree for the diploma and for the further then everywhere each subject you will teach you will learn in that one goal will be there at least single goal will be there out of this 17 goal so in our case for construction you can see 19th one ninth one is there industry innovation and infrastructure then can anyone write that which one is the related to the construction another one further i can uh, show you that 11th also there sustainable cities and communities it is there then another one is climate action climate action is also comes under 13 one is also comes under there and uh, responsible consumption and production that also we can say somehow a 12th number right so these are few 9th 11th 12th and 13th so these are basically and seventh we can say affordable and clean energy affordable and clean energy also comes under that right so these are the sustainable construction topics right so now further we can see why we are going for the sustainable construction the earth is one system this is one system security quality of life and global sustainability are all linked together not achieving sustainable development might leads to decrease so normally we are saying that we are developing country right but we cannot developed without sustainability we have to keep them in our mind that sustainability should be there now comes to that introduction about the sustainable construction importance and benefits are there sustainable construction has become a vital aspects of the civil engineering industries as it addresses the pressing needs for the environmentally friendly and social responsible infrastructure development this introduction to sustainable construction will explore the its importance benefit and role of civil engineering in promoting the sustainable practices by understanding the significance of sustainable construction civil engineering students can contribute to more sustainable and resilient future so now what are the import that uh, importance of the sustainable construction as a civil engineer because we can provide the better sustainable buildings better sustainable construction as a civil engineer so it goes to the that basically for the infrastructure point of view civil engineering is the major part so few importance are there like environmental conger conservation environmental conservation is there right energy efficiency is there right then resource efficiency is there right so in environmental conservation sustainable construction aims to minimize the negative impact on the environmental throughout a building life cycle throughout a building life cycle right then it is the life cycle what is building life cycle i uh, explained you at that in lca life cycle assessment means whenever the you are starting the starting a uh, constructing a building to demolition of that building that is a life cycle so during the starting what you require you require material you require machine you require man machinery and during the that demolition you require again same things so material will be first converted into the building and after that building will be again converted to material when you demolishing that that whole process is called as the life cycle so you have to minimize the negative impact on the environment by this life cycle of the building so how will be the negative impact there means we can say that if we are constructing a building what may be the negative impact these are not generating any such type of gases that is not generating any such type of other things which are 
basically we are saying that air pollution noise pollution these are not coming from this but the, how it will be impact on the environment the impact will be if the building is not properly energy efficient that will be the impact extra light will be used there if you are using the bad quality of material so life of that building will be reduced so early you have to demolish that climate change so like here adopting the sustainable practice civil engineering can contribute to pre uh, preserving the natural resources what are the natural resources light water other things are the natural resources you can preserve that with the help of the some new technology or with the help of the sustainable construction like water retention also you can do mitigation climate change and protecting the biodiversity energy efficiency building are significant contributors to energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions like if you have proper ventilation in the house so the requirement of ac and cooler can be reduced right so that also increase the energy efficiency sustainable construction emphasis the energy efficient design renewable energy integration and use of energy saving technologies by implementing the energy efficient strategy civil engineering can reduce the energy consumption lower carbon footprint and promote a transition to a low carbon economy you know that lower carbon footprint is very very now it these are very uh, means whole world is working on this and as a developing country india is now moving to the zero carbon uh, zero carbon emissions i think you all know that what is the target date for the zero carbon emission i think 2070 uh, right resource efficiency now we have a number of resources like material we have like waste coming from that material then different resources are there recycling can be there i think you know that triple r how many you know the triple r reduce reuse or recycle first thing is there reduce you can reduce the use of the material you can reduce the use of the material secondly you can reuse that thing you can reuse and thirdly if it is not reusable then you can go for the recycle right recycling is there so these three are can increase the resource efficiency second one thing is there which is very much important to learn that what is lead beam or these some certification systems which is related to the green building or which is related to the green building and directly related to the sustainable construction like green building concept and certification system play a vital role in promoting the sustainable construction practices and assessing the environmental performance of buildings this section will introduce the key green buildings concept and popular certification system two certification systems are there you will see in future these two certification system multiple times like lead leadership in energy and environmental design and beam like building research establishment environmental assessment methods these are providing the certificates to the buildings so these buildings are green building understanding this concept and certification system is crucial for civil engineering student to design and construct the building that meet the stringent sustainability standards means they are providing the sustainable some criteria are there we have to design the building according to that we have to construct a building according to that those points then these organization will give the certificate to that building so this building is lead or this will be a beam related or that certified by the lead or beam so that is very very important by the learn to that civil engineering should know that about these two special these two organization then familiarizing with the sustainable construction material as 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 the civil engineer we should know that what are the sustainable construction materials how to select those sustainable construction material like in selection of the appropriate material is crucial for minimizing the environmental impact conserving resources and promoting a greener building environment this section will introduce the various sustainable construction material and provide an overview of their selection criteria understanding these materials and their selection criteria will enable civil engineering students to make informed choice when designing and constructing the 
sustainable buildings means you should know that what are the different materials which are used for the sustainable construction how to select those materials okay? these all are there like few example i have added here one is the recycle and recyclable material recycled concrete one is the term is the recycled concrete which you can recycle again means once you constructed it after after demolition you can again use that like concrete made from recycled aggregate help the reduce to demand for the new aggregate and lower carbon emission associated with the traditional concrete production now after demolition you can see once you demolish a building then you got some demolition material so from there you can separate the aggregate aggregate you can separate from there and then you are using that aggregate with the new concrete not with the old one new concrete you will make with the old aggregate so that will reduce the new aggregate that demand and in carbon emission also will be reduced recycled steel is there using a recycled steel in construction reduce the energy intensive processes of steel production because every time you need to be cut the steel you need to be prepare the that steel right that all process will be decreased and waste will also not generate recycled plastic is there this is all already you know that plastic is very uh, bad impact on the environment so we can use a recycled plastic incorporated the recycled plastic in construction material helps to divert the plastic waste from the landfill and reduce the consumption of virgin plastics virgin plastics means that initial one first time when you are using the plastic that is called virgin plastic then renewable materials the, what are the renewable materials mostly the natural natural uh, that generating material like bamboo cork timber this can be renewable means if you uh, you if you plant a tree so within 4 5 years it will be again come right but if you will use the aggregate from the rock it will not again generate so that is the non renewable so renewable bamboo is a rapidly renewable material with high strength to weight ratio because weight is so low and the strength related as compared to the weight is very high making it suitable for the structural ele elements and finishes cork cork harvested from the bark of cork oak tree it is it is suitable uh, the sustainable material using the flooring insulation you we can use cork as for the insulation purpose and finishes also wall finishes also timber also you this you already know most of the time timber is used for the construction purpose then low embodied energy materials like ply ash this is the waste coming from the power plant so if you are using waste as a first material that will be the sustainable otherwise this will be the waste and just dumping into the land insulating insulated concrete form work insulating material such as i think you are understanding these terms or not but these terms are comes under the sustainable construction and this these terms you will be uh, familiar in the future when you will join your this degree or a diploma course or anything right so these insulating materials are there nowadays we are using that non renewable insulating material new materials but we can uh, use by the used material like uh, which is the waste for somewhere like waste for one industry can be the first product for the another industry that is the main purpose here waste for the one industry can be the first product for the another industry high performance insulating material we can use which is made by the recycled paper like you can see cellulose insulation is there which is form of recycled paper and treated to be fire resistant cellulose insulations provides the effective thermal and acoustic insulation wool insulation is there natural wool fiber which is reno again renewable wool you can get so that also environment friendly alternative with the synthetic insulation material aerogel aerogel insulation it is a high porous and lightweight material offers superior thermal insulation while minimizing the thickness and weight so easily these are some material few materials there are a number of materials in the that which can be used for the sustainable construction then come with the efficient energy efficient building design strategies so there efficient energy building design strategies are there 
which is given by the government organizations are there which are providing these some um, uh, guidelines to how to how to construct these type of buildings energy efficiency is a critical aspects of sustainable construction aiming to minimize energy consumption and reduce the greenhouse gas emissions this section will introduce various energy efficient building design strategies that civil engineering student can employ to create environmentally environmentally friendly and energy conscious buildings by implementing these strategy a student can contribute to a greener and more sustainable building environment right so we can go for the energy efficient building also as per the sustainable construction water con conservation techniques in construction water conservation technique why it is required now water is again the natural source so as the civil engineer our responsibility is that if we know the technique if we have that uh, we can say opportunity to conserve the water with some technology so water conservation plants are also there you can store a uh, rain water at some place and then use that after some time that is also one of the uh, that one of the technique water conservation in a critical aspects of sustainable construction aiming to minimize the water uses preserve the water resources and reduce the strain and local water supplies this section introduce various water conservation techniques that civil engineering students can implement during the construction phase of product projects by adopting these techniques a student can contribute to more sustainable water management practices in the construction industry you can create your own self some ideas you can create your idea you can uh, get the some uh, we can say different uh, ipr pro processes are there intellectual property rights means if you have a new idea for water conservation you can create idea you can make a model you can get for get the um, you can get it the that uh, authorize or ipr for that intellectual property rights right so that also you can get from the government so that is one of the best output from this type of techniques right it is also comes under the sustainable construction so these are few topics which i have covered but there are the multiple topics in this like i have written the first starting like life cycle assessment green roofs and vertical gardening sustainable site development so the conclusion about this ppt or this topic is that as per the civil engineer we should know that what are the sustainable construction what are the sustainable construction practices what are the materials which are required how we can go for the sustainable sustainable construction and why it is important importance is very important importance of the sustainable construction is take the vital role in the civil engineering nowadays the conventional practices are almost obsolete everything is shifted to the sustainable construction we are using the waste material for the construction of building we are using renewable material for the construction of building right new natural things are there by which we can create the new things earlier in ancient time you can see houses are constructed by the uh by the uh, woods right by the leaves these are very these are not strong enough but these are free from the earthquake these are free from the, some other type of things but again we can use that technology inside of this mix the new technology and old technology together and can go for the sustainable construction right energy efficient buildings that we can do water conservation we can do we can go for the green buildings so these all are there so thank you to all of you to join this presentation and uh, thank you uh, himanshi ma'am uh, also for to gives this opportunity to me provide uh, this topic to introduce this topic to with the some that audience thank you so much ma'am thank you sir thank you so much for you to come in and we all know that how on a short notice uh, we've managed this thank you so much sir for coming in for crediting your time basically uh, for all the students and uh, so when you were telling uh, about the sustainable uh, development we can have the construction so i was just wondering 
um are there any let's say companies or uh, any large scale production also for the requirements that we have you know in in the sustainable development or sustainable constructions so what i mean it can be an entrepreneur project also no uh, that you can develop all these uh, sustainable maybe raw materials so that the development uh, can actually uh, go in the faster pace yeah exactly as this is the new uh, technology in the construction field so we have one option that patent option right like uh, i gave example of water conservation technique so if anyone get the new idea for water conservation like a simple idea is there you can take the rain water from your house top roof of the house and uh, collect it into one uh, container and then after that after some time when rain is not there and when water scarcity is there we can use that water that is a one technique so further if we have idea we can create that idea we can go for uh, that patent of that idea that will be the one of the um, entrepreneur uh, point of way secondly the companies are there major companies are there we will hire those already those those students who have this type of ideas who have this type of work because companies are major companies are there who are working in in civil engineering especially who are in working in the conventional way they are uh, they are working in the steel industries they are working in the concrete industries like a site supervisor are there as per the we can say diploma point of view or uh, btech also they are working as a site supervisor site engineer assistant engineer or uh, the major uh, we can say job point of view uh, we have a government job also we have private job also or other if we going for the this especially for this topic sustainable construction so this is a new topic and we can go for a research point of view here also higher studies very uh, right. much give the indeed, help to the students yeah, yeah indeed sir uh, all the students uh, actually can have a different uh, career opportunities you know when when you join in particular uh, topic uh, or rather i would say particular field and uh, with this sir thank you so much uh, for joining us here and uh, i just want all to know that the session will be uploaded on youtube as well so you can just check that uh, the channel there and can watch the video and with this sir uh, i just want to take your permission to wrap this session up shall i thank you ma'am thank you so much thank you sir and uh, uh, meanwhile i just want all to uh, be safe and healthy and meet you soon in the next webinar thank you so much for joining in thank you